Early childhood assessment is a tool used to gather information to educators, parents, and families about a child's development and growth. In Georgia, licensed childhood programs are now required to include a child assessment component in their programs. Child assessment is a process of gathering information about a child, reviewing the information, and then using the information to plan educational activities at the level where a child can understand. Assessment is a critical part in a high quality education program. When educators do an assessment, they observe a child to get information about what or he or she can do. Observing and documenting a child's work performance over the course of a year allows the educator to accumulate a record to see the child's growth. With this information, educators can begin to implement and plan appropriate curriculum related lessons for each child. This assessment record is also a great tool to share with parents so they can follow up on their child's progress. They can also use this to understand their child's strengths and weaknesses and also to help with learning at home. Again, by answering the question, why is assessment important? Assessment provides educators, parents, and families with critical information about the child's development and growth. They provide a record of growth in all development areas, cognitive, physical, motor, linguistic, social, emotional. It also helps to identify children who may need additional support. It helps educators plan individualized lessons. Education is not a one size fit all. There are also, it also can help to identify the strengths and weaknesses of the program. And also, it provides a common ground between, between educators and parents so they can collaborate on the learning strategy. Next, I will go over different assessment strategies. Methods of child assessment can be for, informal, including natural observations, collecting data in children's work and portfolios, using educator and teacher ratings. Formal, using assessment tools, such as questionnaires and standardized testing. Both are effective and can help educators and parents be aware of the child's progress. Observations can be made by introducing yourself in the child's everyday life. Wherever they at, that's where you meet them. Perhaps a child might be in home living, playing with um, a makeup set. You go there where they are and observe them in their environment. Portfolios are used to collect student work, work that they have worked on at a set amount of time. Many times it can be quarterly, four times a year. It can be monthly, um, but you do this to um, get a collection of the student's work to see how they're making progress. Educator ratings are useful in assessing children's cognitive and language abilities, as well as social emotional development. These ratings can be linked to other forms of assessment. Many times this will be a listen and learn. Maybe you want them to repeat, um, following commands. Another observation technique is parent ratings. You integrate the parent into the assessment process. Parents are encouraged to evaluate and listen to their child and target important milestones in the child's development. Also, standardized tests are tests created to evaluate the standards put in place. I'd like to inform you on how to implement these strategies into your program. The assessment, make sure the assessment aligns with instructional goals and approaches. Different types of assessments have different purposes, but make sure the data you are collecting aligns with your objectives. In Georgia, we have objectives. Basically, if it's not in the objectives, you do not need to access that information. Basically, shoe time is not one of our objectives. Name writing, recognizing awareness of print and newspapers, menus, that's something we would assess. Assessor knows the child. Make sure the adult coming in to assess the child is someone the child knows. Make They can freeze up if it's a stranger, um, it's someone they are not familiar with because you want to make sure you're getting a quality assessment. If it's someone they don't know, they want to assess good. In conclusion, I hope my speech has informed you on the use of child assessment in the preschool setting. 
My goal is to help early childhood educators use these assessments and in, in individualized instruction to improve their current programs. Thank you. Oh my.